Hello everyone, welcome back to Reentry, where previously I had successfully landed on the moon, and now we have to get back home. And the first step of that is to get back into lunar orbit. Here I am doing the training, the tutorial for that, so this is just a practice run. And you can see us lifting off, obviously you had to push quite a lot of buttons. I'll show you the process, it's actually a truncated process, the real process is a little bit longer and you have the option of doing the full process in the game, but I just did the short version. Version. And, but on the successful attempt, I will show all of that. There were a lot of unsuccessful attempts, and I'll explain why. But here we are just about reaching orbit. So I cut out most of the journey to orbit here because it takes about eight minutes. The critical thing is that we have to check whether we are in an orbit that is in line with the command and service module, which is what well, we have to dock with in order to get back home because the lunar module cannot get back home on its own. And as you can see there, the two orbits are aligned. And so we're in the lower one and the CSM is in the higher one and we would eventually catch up. That's a whole deal all on its own. Rendezvous and docking proves to be another challenge, but first we actually have to manage to get into orbit in the main save, right? This was just a, just a tutorial. Everything is set up properly. Uh, in the main save, which continues from where I left off, the switches might not be in exactly the same position. There might be other things that have gone wrong along the way. And so we load up and let us see how that works out. Fortunately, timing the ascent is simpler than it is in Kerbal Space Program. You just press the request ascent in the communications dialog there, and it will give you a time of ignition uh, to set. And you can see there's 67 hours, 21 minutes, and 57 seconds. And so that's what's in there already, and that will work just fine. That's way ahead of the Apollo 11 schedule, by the way, because we're not lingering around. They stayed in orbit around the moon before landing for a day, and then, and then they stayed some time on the surface. We're not doing much of that. So, yeah. In any case, when I finally launched, uh, we have staging there as we separate from the descent stage and lift off. Actually, the separation from the sense stage according to the tutorial is way ahead of time. And I'm not too sure that's right, but anyway, we are proceeding on and it looks okay. I mean, it's a weird angle, but then again, you know, it depends on our orientation on landing. So initially we seem to be on track. You can see how the launch is going there compared to the orbit of the CSM. We're still on our way up. At this point, it's a little bit off, but nothing too horrendous at this juncture. However, after a little while, it has gone terribly awry. As you can see, we are definitely not in the right inclination. Even though we could have gotten in the right inclination, it has decided to go off into some other direction. And so I have to restart. I did, of course, save on the surface. But, yeah, this is perplexing because, well, of course the tutorial went alright. On attempt number two, I decided to let it continue on to orbit, even though it was going awry. The previous time I had stopped it short, and that's the orbit it produced. So, yeah, that didn't work out right either. You can see we are definitely not going to rendezvous with the CSM. The lunar module has only a tiny bit of extra delta V. And the amount you would need to correct uh, that is substantial. So, no dice. I try again. And as with all the previous attempts, it lulls me into a false sense of security. It's starting off alright, but with a little southward deviation that I noticed there. And so that's a little bit suspicious. Inside, this is what it is like. And again, it's all automated at this point. I haven't taken any manual control, but I'm thinking about it real hard. Um, and I think on this attempt, I decide to try a little bit of manual control eventually. It is basically down to flicking those switches to direct. There we go. So I've taken control of roll there. And so I'm adjusting the roll. But really what we want is yaw as far as the control over our inclination is concerned. So I was just correcting roll briefly there because it seemed lopsided on roll. I didn't thought maybe that would help it orient itself, maybe because it was rolling off that the yaw was going bad, but I'd take control of yaw there and try to adjust. 
But I wasn't very forceful about taking control on this attempt, and we do still go awry. Uh, though not as bad as the previous ones, but you can see the roll is off on the nav ball there. Uh, as far as taking complete control is concerned, the ascent module is rather wiggly, so it's not the best thing to do. Uh, leaving the pitch to the program is probably the best, and I decided that I would take control over yaw and roll on a subsequent attempt and then leave pitch to the program and see how that works out, and that ended up being the successful attempt. So, without further ado, I will give you the original audio from the successful attempt. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know if the breaker ha happened to be important, but anyway, we'll we'll do it in order. Here we go again. So roll and yaw direct, pitch mode continuous, and we'll just turn it off for now. That didn't help anything. Um, well, fine, uh, I think so. <laughs> Verb 6, uh, noun 33, we, uh, it happens after we do program 12, it, we, we checked that already. That's just when the burn happens. We went right through that. I guess that didn't hurt. I'm doing things faster this time. I'm gonna just do this descent engine command override. Add coordinates for ascent? No. Um, they upload the stuff for ascent. A mission control up uploads the data to the computer. That's why I it was. So when I did comms request ascent, that's what they did. There isn't coordinates for ascent there's just the pitch and yaw well that's the yaw and that's the pitch so it's yaw zero pitch 54 and then a time that's it that's all it does actually initially we'll probably want it to do the yaw first because it does that weird fancy maneuver oh just the, the abort stage thing And I'll put pings into auto now. I'll... No, we'll leave that be. What does AGS even do? <laughs> We never use eggs. Made for rendezvous. That's suspicious. Did you see the nav ball snap right there? That's bloody suspicious. Cheats. Okay. Um. 
All right, well, I'm doing stuff directly now. Jeb, help us. I sure hope that line represents where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> I'm not gonna take a look at the map. We'll just be in suspense until we get into orbit. Well, I don't know if it's a new game. I've done videos on it before, like years ago, too. But for the Apollo 11 anniversary, I decided to give it another go here. Apollo 11, 52nd anniversary. Probably? <laughs> yes, I definitely met the moon landing. What else does Apollo 11 represent exactly? 9 11? No. You guys. Context, I mean. I'm trying to shout over the engines, but I'm not that bad. I have no idea where we're at. <laughs> I've just been following the line here. Could have been a good idea. Could have been a bad idea. Well, that's that. Let's see. Triumphant music. Pretty close. Alright, well that'll have to do. We're not crashing into the surface again, are we? I think it's... We're, we're lopsided, though. There's not a circular orbit at all. We were asking for a circular orbit. <laughs> This is not a circular orbit. Close AC bus A rendezvous radar. Proceed until poo. I'm gonna go to orb rate on the FDAI. I guess we'll start with the rendezvous slew thing. Oh, it's already okay? I don't. I think it's messed up. I don't even vaguely trust this thing. Okay, as I save the game, and wisely, because it turns out that things are in fact not quite right, we'll find out the details of that in the Lunar Orbit Rendezvous video. But for now, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.